If you're struggling to get your Google Business Profile verified using the video verification method, you're not alone. The Google Business Profile support forum is full of business owners facing the same issue. If this sounds like you, keep watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you the fastest and most efficient way to verify your Google Business Profile using the video verification method regardless of your business type. So whether you operate from a brick and mortar location with a physical address or you're a service area business that visits clients at their homes, by the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly what you need to do. I'll also cover some of the most common problems you might face and how to fix them. To skip to the section of the video that is most relevant to you, you can use the chapter options available in the video timeline. One last thing, if Google only gave you the video verification method, that's the one you must use. No other options will be given to you. If you're ready, let's begin. Chapter one, getting ready to shoot your video. Before you start shooting your video, there are a few important things to keep in mind. Knowing these will make the process a lot quicker and easier. So here are the key points. One continuous recording. Your video needs to be recorded in one go without any breaks and uploaded directly to the Google Business Platform. You can't pre-record a video and upload it later. Video length. Your video should be at least 30 seconds long, but no longer than five minutes. Content restriction. Don't include sensitive information like bank account numbers, tax or ID numbers, or any other private details, and don't show other people's faces. Otherwise, your video won't be valid. Verification criteria. To get verified, your video will need to meet the following criteria. Match your location. Make sure your location matches the address or service area listed on your Google Business Profile. Accurate business info. Your business name and category should match what's on your business profile. Authorization. You must be authorized to represent the business you're verifying. I'll give you the exact details on how to do all of this as we go through the video verification process for both storefront and service area businesses. Since everything needs to be done in one continuous recording, I strongly recommend planning your video based on the criteria I've just gone through. It will make your recording a lot more seamless and will almost guarantee verification. All right, let's jump into our first scenario. Chapter two video verification for storefront businesses. The easiest way to verify your Google business profile is on your mobile phone. Open a browser window and go to google.com. Make sure you're logged in with the Google account linked to the Google business profile you are trying to verify. Next, head over to business.google.com. This will take you to your Google business profile management interface. You should see a message saying customers can't see your business information. Tap the Get Verified button. You'll see the business video option selected by default. There might be a more option link below, but tapping it won't show any other option. Tap Next. The next screen lists the verification requirements I mentioned in the previous chapter. Google needs these to make sure your business is legitimate. Let's break them down, starting with your location should match your business profile address. The best way to prove where your business is geographically located and that it matches the address showing on your Google business profile is to film a nearby street sign, then head back to your store or office and capture the street number on the door or storefront. This can be tricky if the street sign is far away. Remember, your video must be one continuous recording. You can't start and stop. If no street sign is close enough, try filming nearby businesses or landmarks instead. Next, make sure your business name and category match your profile. This is simple. In your video, include the outside signage of your storefront or office that clearly shows your business name. It should match the name on your business profile. To demonstrate you have chosen the adequate category for your listing, show the inside of your store, some of your product, or equipment you use. Note, if your business is in a large building without outside signage, but it's listed in a lobby or entrance, you can use that too. Lastly, show that you're authorized to represent your business. Film yourself opening the store or office door with a key or keypad. If you have a cash register or payment system, show that you can access them. You can also show storage rooms or areas usually only accessible to staff. With a bit of planning, capturing all this info shouldn't take more than one to two minutes, which is the ideal video length for verification. When you're ready, press start recording. 
allow access to your mic and camera and start filming. Once you're done, click stop. If you're happy with the video, click upload video. If not, try again. Google says it should take five working days for your listing to be verified, but you might need to wait a little bit longer. I usually wait up to seven days before I start worrying. When your listing gets verified, you'll receive a confirmation email from Google. If not, you'll need to try again. Now, let's go through the steps for those of you who don't have a physical location and go to people's houses instead. Before I dive in, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Your support really helps. Thanks a lot. Chapter 3, Video Verification for Home Services Verifying a Google business profile for a service area business using the video verification method is similar to verifying one with a physical location. However, there are a few key differences that many business owners find challenging. Let's walk through the step-by-step -step procedure. On your mobile phone, open a browser and go to google.com. Make sure you're logged in with the Google account linked to the Google business profile you want to verify. Next, go to business.google.com. This will give you access to your Google business profile management interface. You should see a screen that looks like this with a warning message saying, customers can't see your business information. Tap the get verified button. You may be asked to re-enter your business address. If you do, go ahead, then tap on next. By default, you should see the business video option already selected. You might see a link right below that, which says more options. But if you tap on it, you won't see any other options available. Tap next. This next screen is all about the verification requirements I mentioned in chapter one. Google needs these details to validate that your business is legitimate and real. Let's start with the first requirement. Your location should match your business profile service area. If you run a service area business, it's crucial to follow Google's guidelines. You should not display a physical address on your listing. Instead, indicate the areas where your business offers services. Ensure your listing follows this guideline before submitting your video. So what should you show in your video to prove your location? Since you don't have a storefront, the best way to prove your geographical location as a service area business is to include a street sign or nearby businesses in your video, typically near your registered business location, which is often your home address. Be sure to capture your street number as well. To prove your business name and category, show evidence of your business like a branded van and brand clothing. To justify your business category, you can film yourself providing the service you offer. If you work from a home office, showcase your office and the equipment you use to serve your customers. For instance, if you use specific software to operate like Photoshop for a graphic designer, include that in the video. To prove you're authorized to represent your business, open your branded vehicle and display the equipment or tools you use. If you run your business out of your home where customers don't visit, take a video of the outside of the building, show the nearby street signs and the number of the building. Make sure to film yourself unlocking the door. If you use any industry-specific software, show you have access to them by logging in. Additionally, you can take photos of any business licenses, secretary of state documents, or any other official documents that prove your company's name and address, as long as they don't contain sensitive information. Plan ahead and aim to film everything within two minutes, which is the ideal length for video verification. Once you're ready, press start recording, allow access to your microphone and camera, and start filming. When you've finished, click stop and then upload video. If you're not satisfied with the video, you can try again. Verification should take about five working days, but it may sometimes take a little longer, so be patient. When your listing gets verified, you'll receive a confirmation email from Google. If you follow these steps, your listing should get verified without any issues, but sometimes verification can still fail. Let's look at the most common reasons why this happens and what you can do about it. Chapter four, troubleshooting. Issue number one, your video doesn't upload. There are a few reasons this might happen. Video length, your video might be too long, keeping between one and two minutes as recommended by Google. Network issues, 
Your phone might be switching between Wi-Fi and mobile networks while you're filming the street sign and your company's exterior. Make sure you're connected to a fast and reliable network. Phone problems. The phone you're using might be the issue. Try using a different phone if you can. Multiple attempts. Sometimes you might need to upload your video multiple times before it works. Be patient and try again. Issue number two, your video gets rejected. This usually happens because sensitive content. Your video might show something sensitive like banking info or a person's face. Insufficient proof. Your video might not show enough clear proof. To fix this, make a new video and ensure it meets all the requirements. Add more proof and examples if needed. Issue number three, your video verification is stuck in pending or processing status. If this happens, there's not much you can do except contact Google support at this address.